Hello, so can you please start with telling us your name and the name of your business? Hi, I'm Jeremy Muir, um, the, I'm the editor of the Gisborne Herald. And how many staff um, at the Herald? Uh, about 70 staff. Okay, and what does your business do? Uh, we publish a, newspaper, a daily newspaper, uh, Monday to Saturday. Um, we, uh, there's a, a whole lot of facets to the business, from advertising and um, administration and, and uh, the journalists and, and then circulating the paper out, out all around the district. And you uh, print it here too, don't you? Yes, yes, you might hear it just uh, running in the background at the moment. So what kind of connection does your business currently have? Uh, just at the moment it's 7 uh, megabits per second um, uh, frame, a frame relay of the DSL, but we're in the process of connecting to the um, fast pool van just outside our front door. Hopefully we'll, uh, we'll be on there in the next week or two. So then we'll move on to the 10 megs minimum and um, be able to upgrade up towards 100 megs for, uh, for whatever our needs are. Wow, that's exciting. Um, it is, we can't wait. <laughs> what are some of the ways do you think UFB could change the way your company does the business in the future? Uh, most importantly it's our customers, um, them having fast access to the different digital services we've been providing. Um, internally we, we, we have roadblocks and slow down at different bombs on 7 megs per second when, when, we, when we've got our, um, when there's a lot of traffic going, going through. Um, but in, in the future, that will all be happening uh, much faster and, and we'll be able to grow our digital services because customers won't be having delays. They'll, they'll be getting, getting, uh, getting fast access to our video services and things like that. Okay, here we are back at the Gisborne Herald. Um, Jeremy got called away yesterday. So what role do you think the business community will play in turning the winning Gigatown into a truly smart city? Uh, businesses will play a key role because there'll be great opportunities yes. to um, for, no, for businesses and for people to create businesses based on the much faster internet access. And so th those opportunities being taken and the, the activity created by them will be, well, a lot of that will be oh, sure. what makes us a, a much smarter city. Cool, thanks. And here we are for our final question in front of the printing press. So, if Gisborne won Gigatown, the much faster internet speeds we have, and the leg up ahead of other places to achieving those speeds, would enable us to get on the critical job of creating growth in our economy and addressing the socio-economic problems. There's a great will for this place to get ahead and, and a key part of that is our, is our internet infrastructure that can really help us get away and get 